Hi. In this tutorial, we are gonna be creating, a gameplay like Subway Surfer. We will be using a new version of BuildBox for this. So let's get started. Let's start with a default template. Open a 3D world. Delete these two objects. Now add two cubes from Asset Library. Now let's rename the objects. Drag the actor object into the characters panel. Now change the platform color. Drag platform object into the scene. Use scale tool to scale the object as platform. Adjust its position with the move tool. Let's drag an actor into the scene. Scale it down to adjust the size. Now open objects node map. Enable physics properties in both objects. Select a start node and enable physics. For platform we use static type. Let's duplicate the start level by pressing D. And delete the duplicate actor from new level. Let's change the length of a new level. Select the end point of level, and move the Z axis. Now we use, the multi-tool for scaling the platform. Let's move an actor on the platform. Open its node map and drag in the move node. Connect the move node to a start node. Give move node some value and preview it. Now we need to attach camera to the character. Select a camera object from a scene view. Under its position follow properties, select character. Now, camera is following our character. Now let's fix camera view. After this we will be dragging in swipe node. Let's drag in the swipe asset. Open the new object we just dragged in. And copy the node and paste it inside actor's node graph. Let's drag another jump node asset. This node will help limit the jump. Copy this node and paste it inside actor. Attach this new jump node to swipe node. Now we need a new node for reset connection which is, if collide. When character touches the platform it will reset the jump limit. But we have a small problem here, let's fix it. Go back to scene view and see if platform and collision group options are set properly. Let's see if it works now. It is fixed now. What we need to do now, is to add left and right movement to the character. Drag in two jump nodes and rename them accordingly. Connect left and right swipe node to the new jump nodes. 
give it some value, and preview it. We need to adjust physics settings first. Select start node, and change its friction value. Now let's preview it, and see if it's fixed. It is fixed now, but game speed is slow, so let's change that. Adjust the time warp settings for that. Change the game background color and other settings. Now let's add some decoration to our platform. For that we use a triangle object from asset library. Change its Y value, and position it on borders. Remove physics from triangle. Let's preview and see how it looks. Change border colors, and make it look nice. Let's do some small tweakings. Now add coin, and some score system to the game. Grab the coin asset from asset library. Drag in the coin asset, and place it on the platform. Let's add a UI for showing scores. Inside game view, add label and position it in the center. Let's select a nice looking font. Adjust coins position and preview the game. We need to adjust the values of jump node now. Let's add an enemy now in the game. For this, we will be using a simple cone object. Add cone object into enemy collision group. Now let's drag in the enemy and change its color. Now we need to add a collision, in enemy object. Go back to actors node map and add another collision event. This time actor is colliding with an enemy object, and get defeated. Another node we need to add is defeat node. Connect defeat node with collision node. There is one more node we require here, is event observer. Connect defeat node with menu jump connection. Let's rename it to game over node. Go back to mind map and connect game over connection to a game over node. Now let's test it out. Let's add an explosion effect in the game. Drag one more asset and grab the explosion node from it. Connect the explosion asset with defeat node. We need to add a new object here for explosion effect. Let's copy the asset name from here and add a new object. 
rename the new object to the asset name just copied. Now we need to add physics into an explosion object. Let's preview it and see if it's working ok. Yes, but we need to add one more node so it can delay the defeat time. Let's go back in actors node map, and add a delay node. Now we need to remove connections to, game over and explosion node, and reconnect them, via delay node. Let's preview it and see if it's working ok. Let's add some game effects. First, let's add rotation in coins, so they do not look static. For that, let's open coins node map, and add rotation node. Connect it with a start node, and give some values and test. Let's have more fun with it. Drag in a wake up node, and connect it with rotate node. Add some value of distance to it, and test. The main gameplay, is finished, now all you need to do is to decorate your game levels, and design assets. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.